All right, here we go. Switch make, uh, Switch Mate Incorporated. Ready to, uh, six minutes. Okay. So hello everyone. My name is Robert Romano. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Switchmate, and we at Switchmate are on a mission to make the smart home simple. So the home automation market is huge and rapidly growing. It's estimated to reach about 52 billion dollars by the year 2020 alone, and yet today, the adoption rate is an abysmal two percent. Me and my co-founders went out to try and figure out why this was the case. We talked to hundreds of people outside of Costco, Lowe's, Home Depot, and before we were escorted out, they told us the following story. First, customers were excited about their new home automation products. They wanted to show it off to friends and family, but their demeanor quickly changed from pure excitement to utter frustration, and that's because home automation today looks a lot like this. Why is it that a product meant to make our lives simple and better is such a pain to deal with right out of the box. One of the first places you would think of automating in the smart home of the future is your lighting. And yet attempts to date have failed to make this easy. Let me show you a few. First, you've got wired in switches. As you can see, these are a pain to deal with. And if you don't want to do it yourself, you can hire an electrician, but it'll cost you thousands of dollars for a product that costs you about 50 to $60 to buy. Not only that, but if you live in an apartment or condo, you can't even use this option. You can't install into the wall. Another option are smart light bulbs. These have been popping up more in recent years. But if this is your living room and you want to automate that chandelier in the middle, you need at least five smart light bulbs to do it. Not only that, but take a look at that light switch back there. If you have a smart light bulb, you can't even use it anymore. Every single time you want to turn the lights on and off, you have to take out your phone and you have to hit on and off. At SwitchMate, We've developed a product that makes smart lighting extremely simple without dealing with any of these issues. Let me show you here. So this right here, this is SwitchMate. So for about the same price as all these other products, you can install smart lighting like that, and you're done. And then you can control it right from your phone like that. So the way it works is pretty simple. It uses two magnets on the back, that snap right to the screws on your standard light switch, and it mechanically flips the switch up and down. So pretty, simply, pretty simple, right? But to our customers, SwitchMate makes a huge difference. Let me tell you one story of one customer that we encountered. This is Chris. He's a homeowner from Charlotte, North Carolina, and one of our mo most earliest beta testers. One week before Thanksgiving break, Chris heard about a break-in that occurred in his neighborhood. Now, naturally, he was frightened because he was about to leave on vacation, but his home was completely unprotected. Luckily, he was beta testing with SwitchMate at the time, took out his phone and set a really basic timer stuck in his living room. When he came back from vacation, he called us up and said he couldn't emphasize enough how happy he was that he could leave on vacation with some peace of mind. Now, because SwitchMate is so easy to use, you can use it for a whole number of other use cases as well. You just slap it on your light switch, and you can still access your light switch manually, or just turn it off right from your phone, like in bed. Or when you're approaching your home at night, you can have SwitchMate automatically detect that you're approaching and turn the lights on. You never have to come back to a dark home again. And in Chris's use case, you can actually set vacation timers. And not only that, they can even mimic your natural behavior, so it doesn't even look like you set real vacation timers. Chris's story is real and it's joined by many other people all across the US. We've been beta testing with many people, real paying customers. And we've tried to make sure that SwitchMate can be used by both techies and non-techies alike. So we've put extra effort into getting outside of the Silicon Valley bubble. And the market opportunity for SwitchMate is huge. There's about 120 million homes in the United States alone, a third of them being rentals and condos. With about 10 switches per home, that's about 1.2 billion light switches that have the potential to be automated. So how are we going to get there? Next month in February, we're planning to launch a pre-order campaign. We're also working with a manufacturing partner that has experience building multiple hardware products. By the end of this year, we hope to deliver to online retail, such as Amazon, and through our own website. Then in 2016, we hope to get to, into brick and mortar retailers. So smart lighting with SwitchMate is just the beginning. As part of our initial launch, we'll be providing an optional hub that will serve as the base station for SwitchMate and any other feature products. Imagine very easy to use smart vents, smart circuit breakers, or very easy 
garage door opener. The possibilities are endless, but one thing will always remain the same. At SearchMate, we will never compromise on making sure we make products that are extremely simple to use. If you're interested in learning more or would like to keep up to date for our upcoming crowdfunding campaign, join our mailing list at www.myswitchmate.com. Thank you. That's super. So that also works with the, the, the flat, flat light switches too, right? Yeah, so there's one version for this kind of light switch, the toggle light switch, and another version for those kinds that you're describing. Okay. So really like the ID. Um, uh, I like the simplicity in particular, obviously, of, um, uh, of the product. Um, but being simple has its downsides, obviously, uh, in being easy to copy. Um, and uh, so I'm curious about you know what uh, uh, you know how will you differentiate uh, once others will come to uh, to your market if it's proven to be successful. Right. So there's three ways that we plan to help with defensibility. One is with a patent. So we're currently pr um, filing a uh, full patent. The second thing is really our brand. You know the one thing that's really hard for big companies to copy is our extreme focus on simplicity. That's what we're building from the ground up on. And that's what we want to show customers we're really serious about. And the last thing is that as part of our, you know, switch, as part of SwitchMate, there's actually a removable cover. It's actually right now aesthetic, but in the future, you can actually make very easy hardware upgrades. So imagine, you know, th this gives the customer a reason to keep SwitchMate around and upgrade it in different ways that can help them further. Yeah, so there's a very big market now for this kind of stuff. Uh, all of this uh, home automation. How do you want to compete and uh, who is your main competitor now? Sure, so I think the one differentiator which Rob has really mentioned that separates us from the competition is how simple we make it. The, our philosophy at this company is that a non-techie should be able to install and use this product in under 10 minutes. I don't think anybody else really has that focus. Everyone goes for that full encompassing solution. So just very quickly, you mentioned that the lights will switch on when you approach the home. How do you do that? Sure. So that's because this device actually has a BLE radio in there. Sure. And so every single one of these devices has a BLE radio, and you have the hub, which technically speaking, you can ma manage them through BLE. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so you could actually have that proximity detection without sure. the hub, but yes, the, right. the hub can connect them all. So, so, uh, so the, the primary mode, uh, in this case, is BLE. So you'll need a power supply for each, of, each and every one of these uh, switches. So there's actually two AA batteries, and the battery life, based on 10 actuations per day, is approximately one year. Sure. So, so if, I've, if I pepper my home with uh, switches, do you kind of see all the switches in the home having one of these, or is just your master switches for your living room? And how do you, how do you guys uh, envisage this? Sure. So, you know, we've actually done surveys with the people who have already purchased as well as people who are interested. And they generally want to put these switches on their most important light switches. Sure. What I mean by that is like their backyard, their porch light, and their bedroom. So this isn't quite a product to outfit your whole home with, mm -hmm. but more importantly for the switches that you really care about. Can you fit multiple, can you fit multiple of these things on like a one of a, like a four, four way switch or whatever? Yeah. So actually, if you look right here, that removable cover is meant so that you, the inner piece is, um, has the width that you can fit them side mm -hmm. by side on a multi-gang panel like you're describing. <laughs> and aren't people going to be upset that they have to put a big wall ward on their switch? So, you know, we, we've been, the design has been gradually improving and evolving. And so far, people are pretty satisfied with the current ID. Okay. You know, where we began may have been, you know, not as pretty. But this one is actually, you know, fairly attractive. And you can change out the covers for different looks. So uh, I've seen power sockets uh, getting uh, Wi-Fi enabled more and more. Uh, so <coughs> will the future actually embed the, the Bluetooth and or any type of connectivity straight inside of the socket? So the reason we chose Bluetooth over putting Wi-Fi directly was for two reasons. One is the, the, the energy drain of Wi-Fi. These batteries would not last anywhere near one year if there's a Wi-Fi chip in there. Additionally, it's the cost. There's no cost-effective Wi-Fi chips on the market. Yeah, my, my question, I was talking about power outlets uh, mm. that oh, are powered by Wi-Fi, I mean, Wi-Fi is inside of them. Uh -huh. Will Bluetooth actually creep into, you know, uh, straight from when people are, are uh, building houses inside of the light sockets, the light switches? That's right. So you, you, you yeah. could have a built-in Bluetooth, and then it makes your product irrelevant in the future. Oh, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, so if, if there's a built-in, if you're, like, building a home, then SwitchMate is probably not the best yeah. solution for you. But if you have an existing home that's been around for a while, like most people, um, or you live in an apartment or condo, then 
that isn't an option. So that's where SwitchMate really has its benefits. And how do you see your portfolio of products? Sorry. Yeah, so as I sort of touched on briefly, um, you know, we're looking towards other home automation products that are just as simple to use. For example, one that we're looking at is very simple vents, something that slaps right over and can vary the airflow right from your phone. Or like a very simple garage door opener, just a simple retrofit. Sure, I might have missed it. Uh, what was the price of this and the uh, cost? So the cost hasn't been completely established yet, but we're aiming ideally for something like 50 to $60. Uh, shipping when? When do you so expect to ship? We're launching a pre-order campaign next month, and we hope to ship by holiday season this year. Cool. Ready? All right, super. Thank you very much, Switchmate. Yep. Thanks for coming out. Thank you.